Hello friends, I'm so happy you're here. Rolling about little today, Miss James Span. Let's go, let's do this. So here's the uh, situation. We are going to discuss, ooh, a tropical storm. This is Nicole, this is actually a hurricane. That was uh, yesterday coming up on Florida. But uh, let's talk about storms and how we track storms. Does anybody know what this is right here? Yes. What is it? Um, it looks like a soccer ball, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's like a soccer ball sitting on a, a towel. Water can. Well, no, there's not water in there. Guess what's in there? What? This, an antenna. You know what it does? Yeah. It spins around all day long, shooting out little beams of energy. And we make maps where the bounces are coming from, and my maps look just like this. I was at a school yesterday. Guess what some kid said? Because some kid said, hey man, that's Minecraft. <laughs> this is not Minecraft, this is radar. So uh, the weak bounces are gray, blue, and green. That's light rain. The moderate bounces that's are yellow. Really bad, yeah. Really? But yet the heavy bounces are what? Red and white. Right. So that's the heaviest rain. But this is a really bad storm and there's a tornado in the storm. So here's my question to you. Where's the tornado? point to it. Where do you think there's a tornado? And let's see if you get it right. Pick out a spot, point to somewhere on that map where you think there's a tornado. Let's see if this guy gets it right. Pick out a spot, like up here. That's close, but it's actually down here. That's the uh, tornado. Uh, in fact, let me back that up. So let me explain. So back in the back, there's a hook, okay? At the end of the hook, there's a little spot of red and white. And there's no heavy rain. That was the stuff in the tornado, like boards and bricks and glass and nails. This is the same storm in the wind. This is the tornado. The green, those are raindrops coming down this way. The orange is going the other way. So here's a really bad tornado, okay? So this is rain and this is wind. Where's the tornado in the rain? It's right there. there. And in the wind, it's right there. there. I mean, I'm telling you guys, you can learn how to do this if you watch. Here's another one. This is the tornado in the rain. This is the tornado in the wind. Uh, who is this creeper? James Yes. This is me on television. <laughs> this is wind. There's three tornadoes. Okay. One I'm touching. The other is up there. And the third one. We need water. And if we don't have water, this is a big part of the water cycle. Uh, and where we live, most of our rain comes from storms, precipitation. And so they're good. They're really good. I'm telling you, if we don't have storms, we have a problem. What do you call these flashes right here? Lightning. And there's, I just got one rule about lightning. You know what my rule is? Don't stay outside. You go where? Inside. Yeah. Watch this. This is why you go inside. See if you see lightning strike this tree about right now. Whoa! and the top of the tree is going to collapse this is why you don't stay outside i've got great news mm -hmm. lightning does not chase you through the front door go into a house a car a truck and you're fine is there anything happening down here no this is a wall cloud that happens before a tornado okay that's the back of the storm so is this a tornado yes or no yes no this is the front of a storm this is called a shelf cloud there's still nothing happening down here at the ground these happen all the time. Shelf clouds happen every day in the summer during storms. They're, they're kind of creepy looking, but they're kind of harmless. But that's a shelf cloud. Uh, here's a shelf cloud, and it's going to come right over this guy. This is a time lapse, and they're not bad. Shelf clouds are not bad. I mean, storms, remember, storms are good, okay? Tornadoes are bad, but storms are good. It's going to come right over this guy, and you'll see what happens. It gets a little windy, and it's going to rain a little bit, and it's just not that bad. Uh, but that's the front of a storm. So let's go back to the back. Uh, is this a tornado, yes or no? Yes. No. Is there anything happening down at the ground? No. Yes. Is this a tornado, yes or no? Yes. Yes, now we've got it. The guy, I knew this guy would get this one right. Now you see the dirt and the debris. So real quick, storms are good, tornadoes are bad. But wait, 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 wait. There's one good thing about a tornado. Guess what that is? They don't happen a lot. You might live to be older than me, and I'm old as dirt, and you will never see one, which is kind of cool. Uh, but if we ever have one, you have to know what to do. It's like a fire. Hey, when I was in first grade, guess who came to talk with us? A fireman. And they told us what to do in case of a fire. Stop, 
drop and roll. And I've never been afraid of a fire, and I'm not afraid of tornadoes, and nobody should be, because they don't happen a lot, and all you have to do is uh, know what to do. So let me show you one in Kansas this year, back in May. Where's the tornado? Yeah. Is this good or bad? Bad. But this is what they do. You can't see them uh, because in Alabama they're rain wrapped. This is in Kansas where they don't have a lot of rain, but that's what they do. Every tornado gets a number based on the damage they cause. This is a, how many fingers am I holding out? Three. Uh, the biggest one is a five. The weakest is a zero. Same size tornado, but now you can't see it because it's all wrapped in rain. But that's coming right over this building and it's about to cross Highway 280, and that was a bad day. This is March 25th of last year. But because Alabama tornadoes are wrapped in rain, you don't see them. Here's the same tornado right by the uh, TV station. This is way before it got here. This is crossing Highway 31, and whoa! That guy shouldn't be out here. Thank goodness he stops. But here comes a rain-wrapped tornado crossing Highway 31, and there's the power flashes, and it's going to go right down Highway 119, and it's going to wind up here uh, soon after that. We don't want anybody being afraid of tornadoes, but you have to know what to do, and I've got four big rules. Do you want to be in a big room or a small room? Big room. Small room. Highest floor, lowest floor, lowest, near the center, and away from windows, and that's it. And I want you wearing a helmet, a bicycle helmet, if you've got one. It makes you really safe. But uh, this is Birmingham on a good snow day, but you want to go back eight years ago? Remember this? This was bad. And guess what? We didn't really do a good job. The forecast was okay, but we missed the impact. We didn't think the roads would be bad. But the snow came down and the snow melted. And because it was 18 degrees when it was snowing, the, the snow melt turned into ice. We had a flash freeze, and I've never had that in all my years. And the roads were all ice, and everybody left at once, and they got stuck, and they got stranded. Some people were down there for 10 hours, running out of gas, getting cold and hungry. They're burning anything they could burn on the side of the road to stay warm. But this is a reminder, there's a lot of things we don't know, and I need you to get in my science, okay? Because you're smarter than us. And I but promise, I promise when you get to college, there's going to be a lot to learn. Drive slow. Use a high volume visor. Make sure to drive Mr. Wright's son. Blink, blink, blink. This will all cool you up too. Keep those headlight lights on and bring up the umbrella. Rain is on its way. Now be patient, the rain bands will be blowing out. After the rain starts, there's going to be a strong wind. Oh my gosh, it's so strong, it broke my umbrella. When the wind goes down, the temperature is going to plummet. Brrr, I already got my parka on. I hope everyone's at home safe. Snow's coming. Oh, perfect day for a fire. Or maybe even a snowball fight. This one's for you, Mr. James. Take it back in the office. Guess what? I have some homework for you. Are you ready? Do you want easy or hard homework? Hard. Hard. Alright, this is hard. So this is a storm prep scavenger hunt. Guess what you're gonna do? What? You are going to find all of these things and you're gonna get them in your safe place, okay? You think you can do that? You ready? I will come back and grade you and see how well you do, okay? Hey guys, I'm almost done with my scavenger hunt list. Just a couple more items, right? Yeah. All right, let's go get them. Okay, let's go. All right, what's next? Dog. dog food. Yeah, gotta take care of Molly too, right? Yep. Alright. Here's Molly's dog food. I'm bringing this into the safe room. Yep, the safe room follows all four of Mr. Span's rules, right? 
Yes. It's a small room on the bottom floor in the center of our house and it has no windows. So we are all good and safe in here. Most important thing, I gotta protect my head. Let's go get the helmet. It's green. Okay, Mr. Spin, how'd I do? All right, so you got your bottled water, the power bank for the cell phone, we got snacks, we got a big flashlight with fresh batteries, we got a first aid kit, we have a weather radio, Weather radios look like this. Make sure that you have them and have fresh batteries too. And then we had it. you have your helmet, Jackson? Yep. Boom. There we go. We have dog food for Molly, and he's even wearing good, sturdy shoes. Just in case if there's ever a storm, we're ready, aren't we? Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Oh yeah, uh uh, uh 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 uh.